Welcome back everyone uh, to Purina Zoo, our brand new franchise in which we are only going to add big cats to the game and we're going to play this in the hard mode of Planet Zoo. In the first episode we have added the Bengal Tiger as you can see over here and today we are going to add the Cheetah in this area. Oh my god, that pronunciation of the Cheetah was absolutely insane. If you want to see how that's gonna go, well, stick with me and let's go. Alright, so in the last episode, in case you haven't seen that one, we built this wonderful Bengal tiger reserve over here. Um, you can see the Bengal tigers are, you know, enjoying the time in this wonderful little habitat. In case you were wondering why down here on the left hand side uh, the money says unlimited, uh, we are in a saved file. The reason for that is pretty simple. I've been sick the whole weekend and my voice was basically not existing. Um, if you've seen Kuali Zoo, which I highly do recommend to watch if you haven't already, uh, you can hear how bad my voice actually still was yesterday uh, it's much better today already and it's hopefully going to be better uh, the upcoming days as well but you can see we've got some uh, little uh, babies as well some new juveniles and we've got uh, some wonderful big caddies kitties over here but that should not be the thing um, I made this uh, save file because I have already been building in here so we will actually have a very nice uh, cut in a second and go over because I can't really talk you too much through this um, simply because everything is unlimited and it will be unfair to have a look but I can tell you that I saved up to like 17,000 uh, you know uh, in-game cash and uh, I also uh, grabbed some cheetahs and stuff um, so yeah this is basically what happened uh, but no worries after the cut we will actually go over into the actual file so you'll see the money problems I will have over there just as a little spoiler um, but the good news is um, I have done this pretty layout over here and just to give you a brief idea of what we are doing so let me just quickly take the terrain stamp so what we're going to do is we are going to have and let me just pull that to the highest uh, possible uh, intensity and um, we're going to have like a bit of a seating area right over here you know so just that you get an idea and um, this little area over here will be where the main building is going to be for the cheetahs and they will then uh, get basically this entire space over here crossing under the bridge and having this huge uh, space over here um, including that little lake which acts like a natural barrier and this is going to be where the backstage is um, I'm thinking about maybe making a viewing platform that goes uh, along that lake and then have some staircases um, connecting these but that's gonna be in a later stage of the game um, or if the, of this build um, but so that you just have an idea there is something on my mind and you can see we've got a ramp going all the way down over here for disabled people and wheelchairs and you know also for strollers and um, on the other hand we do also have like a staircase uh, making sure that you know we also have like a shortcut cut uh, for those who want to use that as well um, and we also focused on a lot more uh, you know making sure that the, you know the guest uh uh, stuff is uh, done. Also, I've, I've done little things um, which you haven't seen because I did that off screen. I've just readjusted some of the bins, the trash bins. I also sold uh, some of the exhibit animals. I made some 3D facades to just kind of uh, keep it a bit nicer. Um, I also rearranged some of the things over here. I should definitely, oh well, it doesn't matter if I do it over here. Um, I hired some more caretakers, so just did like some little things you know but you know without further ado let's jump over so you guys can see how that actually looks and uh, we can continue with the build all right uh, things have changed as you can see in front of me and um, I'm quite happy with uh, what we are looking at it doesn't look like much but trust me it is um also before I speak about what I've done over here um let me know in the comments down below now if so if you you know if you want to support me please make sure to pause the video right after uh, I've said what I wanted to say and uh, give me a little bit of a input to that because I thought you know making these cuts in franchise is kind of neat um, but do you really want to see each individual time lapse or is it okay to also have like some cuts here and there because sometimes you know work like that is a little bit nasty and because we're playing hard mode and we are very short on money um, I have to actually try around to find the rare pieces and I can't really go really overboard so uh, these time lapses really don't really make that much sense in my opinion but you can you know let me know in the comments down below now anyhow um, just to give you a little idea of what I did so I spent over 15,000 already on well not 15 but like 12,000 on the build uh, these wall things 
movies are quite expensive. So um, I wanted to have them, though, because I wanted to make sure that the people uh, that join the zoo, we will do something else over here, like a building or a kind of a tower or whatever, like an entrance building, and make like a kind of mur mural or whatever out of this. But I wanted to ensure that they don't stop over here to look at the animals, because that's going to create a very big traffic jam over here. And I wanted to ensure that the people who do want to go directly there um, can just do so, or those of them who want to go up or uh, see the, the cheetahs, they can actually do that right away um, and just, you know, go that way. And I thought about even making like another connection here, something like that along the lines. We have to see how that turns out in the end. But, you know, with uh, the uh, free build mod, that should all be a lot more simple to make another connection over here, which I feel like could be a cool idea to spread out the traffic a little bit more. But all in all, this is what we did so far. And as you can tell, um, this is like a very long swoop in habitat and I feel like I haven't talked enough about that while um, what does the weather forecast say in the time yeah I'm, you know, I'm just gonna keep play for a moment to see if we can actually make some money but uh, just to give you a brief introduction to what is going on uh, with this habitat so since the cheetah is a, a relatively easy to contain animal in this game um, I wanted to make sure that we leverage exactly that by having some very nice natural borders uh, also speaking of problems uh, can I can I enable Radio Chief Beef out of... Oh, this is out of power. That's that's why. Where's the power source, though? Is it... Um, can I have, like, another one, maybe? Go to facilities and then have it a power. Uh, blueprints. And then what's what's the most cheapest one we have? It's actually the transformer that is the most cheapest. Um, well, granted, we have to monitor that anyways. I'm going to put this one right over here next to next to this build. Uh, can I just lower that down so that the path... I can't. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's just replace that over here. Okay, nice. We've we've put that thing down. Power is reinstated. Um, we're going to have to make like a... You know, like also the... Uh, how's it called again? My goodness, I forgot the word. Uh, the work zone. That's what we need to do. But yeah, so making sure that we uh, make the most of uh, the natural area that the cheetah is actually living in and um, making this look like a real nice savanna um, and also leverage the effect of a savanna and make like like this little water pond over here, use some trees uh, to the outskirts, but make the, the middle uh, very much a deserty and like, like grassland, you know, really making sure that this looks good. Um, and since they don't really um, escape that easily like big other big cats do because they climb, uh, we can really keep that a simple way of having. And also, I want to make it quite long so that they can actually run because that's what these animals do. They're pretty fast runners and, uh, you know, we, we make sure that they can actually enjoy that. Before I do another cut, let's quickly check all the problems we have right now. So first of all, we need a, a research center. I still don't have one because I think we don't need that. Um, a vet surgery is still not needed because all of our animals should be doing relatively good in terms of uh, you know welfare and stuff is all good so there's really no need to do anything else um, you can also see oh my god look at that we have something in the trade center and in the exhibit look at that we have got uh, more spidey spiders uh, Mercedes is there but you're gonna go I'm gonna keep Alonso and I'm gonna keep Mercedes um, I'm not sure why exactly this always uh, is the same but uh, Mercedes seems to be uh, the tarantula with uh, the best output ever. Um, no, anyways, um, you can see this is this is what I made over here. I just made sure that everything looks good and we've got a long swooping habitat. We will have like a little nice uh, kind of viewing spot point over here, putting some rocks in front so that I can't escape over there. I'm going to use like a very nice rock facade over here, like making it very natural. Um, and the same goes over here, which I haven't quite done with it. You know, I just can really do that. Um, just plant this down uh, just making sure that this looks good and uh, you know what i'm just gonna keep this little edge over here i think that looks fairly decent if we do that uh just a bit like so and we can already pick some rock and mix in some other rock as well uh potentially we don't really have that much rock but you know i'm just gonna keep that this way um and have like another lovely little viewing spot over here for the guest um and then this is going to be what we are working on right now um i am going to put that panel 
just at the end, uh, simply because I want to have one single panel if I want to reuse that. This zoo is also all about reusing. Quite like the modern touch of these, to be honest. Um, also, the size is pretty neat. I think we can we can actually work with that. Money-wise, it seems to be good. I think this is the perfect point to do another cut, and I will actually do the habitat now. And so we see each other after we've done that, and we'll continue making this a proper episode today with the cheetahs added to our wonderful zoo, and then also speak about the future episodes of this one. This time around, you guys have a say in which animal next. So uh, prepare for that, uh, and beware, we, we still have some kitties on the way. So let me know in the comments down below what we should do next but until then uh, we should cut all right we are back and uh, well in in good old planet zoo tradition we are back with a awfully awfully cramped pathway um, I've I've done nothing in particular uh, to be honest I've, I've done just done uh, really a lot of uh, foliage and stuff and um, I just wanted to quickly you know add on that with you guys uh, by just copying that patch over here and just kind of making sure it just kind of transitions nicely into that area down here. Um, I just figured that foliage is super expensive. Um, it's just something I haven't really noticed that often, so I, I got to be a bit more careful on that. Um, and yeah, I'm just uh, in the... Um, you know, uh, in the process of putting these things down that are very important, uh, but I just forget way too often. So uh, we're just placing down the most important things over here, and this is like education boards and, you know, all that kind of uh, shenanigans that I most likely forget most of the times. Um, and we do have to solve that issue of, uh, you know, um, having that quite insane traffic jam going on. Uh, can you just tell me why? It's not sticking to the center core over here. I'm just gonna put this here anyways. There you go, this is like Cheatham. Uh, there you go, habitat no keepers assigned. Oh, wait a sec, um, we need to assign a keeper. I haven't done that quite yet. So we are going to quickly do this with you guys on board. Um, so you, mate, first of all, most things, uh, most important things here, uh, you're gonna work for the cheetah habitat. There you go. Um, so that should be, oh my God, look at that. We gotta have to solve that issue. I feared that this is gonna be the issue um, and I have a fix for that at least I hope I have uh, so let's do this to three meters I'm just gonna gonna connect this one here I'm gonna sneak this uh, through that palm tree we can actually just uh, make sure that the palm tree is gone relatively soon but they are uh, not, not gone but like just gonna move that a little bit here so that's nicer there you go and uh, that tree over here can be rotated and pushed out a little. Why do we have like protesters over here? Um, it, wh what's the deal? Are they like having such a bad time over here? Animals? Welfare? Oh my god, wh what's your what's your big problem? Yeah, stress. I mean, see, the problem is that this is insanely crowded over here, like insanely. Um, and I don't really know how exactly to solve that without yeah kind of making that bridge like 10 kilom uh, kilometers like wider which i i feel like i don't want to but i feel like i have to uh so we're gonna do this right now so i'm just going to build a way way bigger bridge um so what we're gonna do over here is we're gonna start building from this i'm just gonna make this Oh my god, okay, so this is potentially a little bit too wide. Um, let me just quickly see. So maybe let's go to seven-ish meters. Uh, yeah, somewhat like that. And then I just got to keep that. Oh my god, I just don't know how, how I want to make sure that this is all going to snap together. I think that's not exactly how it should work. Uh, I can't even see anything over here. My goodness me. Can I can I just somehow connect this? Okay, so that wasn't that wasn't the way of doing it. Um, I'm just gonna delete this and then this and then just trying to mark my way through here. So if I'm gonna make this like wider now, that should Okay, so at least this is done. We've got one once more over here. So now this is gonna go better. Um, let's delete that bit as well. And no, I guess I want to just make sure that, okay, it's, it doesn't work without free build. So I just have to, first of all, find a nice connection over here, which uh, 
I'm not sure I will. Mm, I gotta... Hmm. It's all a little bit tricky, guys, but I'm... Ah, I'm willing to do that. I'm willing to succeed on this connection, but I'm really, really not sure how. So let's see what happens if I do... Ah, uh, my goodness. Can we just keep that on the same height? For whatever reason, this is this is real struggle, and I gotta fix this, and I'll be back with you. All right, there we go. Um, I hope that I have fixed the issue to a certain extent. Uh, it, it took me a lot longer than I expected. So you can see, um, I basically rearranged these entire things over here. So we've got the staircase leading up to the actual viewing, uh, you know, platform right now, and then we have that area which uh, I totally need to rearrange that building over here uh which there is like there is like no collision on this thing so it shouldn't really make any difference i wanted to but you know what? i'm just gonna leave it the way it is right now uh without any collision um they are protesting for nothing because uh, welfare is actually checked but um all the people that got stuck over here are here now um so i'm guessing that there is unfortunately no other chance, but I will have to open up this pathway over here uh, to the guest. Um, so I'm going to do this right now. And they will eventually see the guest area. Oh, actually, you know what? They are not going to see the staff area over here. So I'm just going to add this staff path over here. But what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to keep the three meter. I'm just going to connect this right over. Can I connect this here? Yeah, there you go. Like make like a little bridge over here that goes all the way around. Lengths can be back to two meters and then just like go down straight and then just like connect over here if that's somehow possible. There you go. There you go. It's a little bit in the grass. I don't really like that too much. So let me just see if I can have like a more natural approach to this. Maybe over there. But it's, you know, it's already way, way too far. So I'm just going to add this here. There you go. I'm going to smooth that corner out a little. So we've got the backstage access over there. And I guess we are just going to add one here. There you go. So they shouldn't be able to go up there. But now there should be also a chance for them to, to just take that route over here all the way back. Money-wise, it's okay. You know, I'm just going to go to nature and say bamboo. We don't really have that. So let's get rid of all filters. And then we're just going to sneak some bamboo in this space as if we are going to hide this from our guest which is exactly what we're doing um so i'm really hoping that they might be able to take that route and in order to make that even more accessible i'm just going to do this and create like a little why can i not is it not activated there you go sometimes i'm like why the hell is this not activated but now it should be there you go so let's just see if i can connect those two uh is that too far off oh wait a sec i got just gonna do it that way there you go um so now there is like even more connection done and uh, i really do hope that the people use that a little bit more in the future because otherwise we are having a little bit of an issue here um when it comes to the overlooks i'm just gonna put like a bamboo in there uh it's pretty much too crowded i'm just going to hope that it's the same effect as like over here so maybe as long as the animals are new they're like storming this area but as soon as you know there's some some more things to see they might actually start to spread out a little bit more again and you can see there's like a, a crazy amount of people over here uh, i wanted to just go in real quick and then we are going to end this episode by the way uh, i'm just going to put uh this is the arctic picnic bench it just kind of looks nice but you know what i'm just gonna say africa there you go we've got that smaller north africa picnic bench i think that's fine if we put this down here so people have something to sit down right next to there and also something below that canopy over here yeah it's not like that it's crowded already right <laughs> <laughs> Cheeks, that's insane. Oh, man. Oh, whatever. As long as the animals are doing good and everything is fine. Uh, many people think uh, tickets are underpriced. Well, that is something we are going to take care of by going to 13 by 10, I guess. There you go. Um, facility negative impact on guests. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's fine for the moment. It's not like, you know, uh, I don't know about that. But it's like, 
whatever. At this point, it's more important to have them going a bit more nice through the areas here. Um, so they also have like, a, you know, a better view on the animals and things are spreading out a bit more nice. It's a disaster, but it's a, it's a nice one. Okay, so it's a disaster. Uh, they <laughs> Boy. Um, yeah, okay. Well, whatever. It, it's it's okay. You know, I think we we managed to have at least something. Um, but that's the point where I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys. Uh, we've got two habitats. The connection is not like the most nicest quite yet, but um, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. It's, it's, it's going in the right direction. We're going to have totally different different habitats as well, but these two were focused on natural, natural habitats, but the next ones will be somewhat different. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, I'm always happy about new people joining the channel. So if you guys want to subscribe, that would be amazing. If you haven't already, um, just do me that favor. It helps me out a lot and it's for free for you. Um, so that would be amazing. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. Have a wonderful time and goodbye.